Good morning, Pikeville High School, and welcome back for week number five of online instruction. It's the Monday message, and it's Monday, April 20th. I know a few of you are disappointed from this past weekend. We always look forward to Hibbilly Days and just spending some a uh, couple, three days downtown, uh, walking around and enjoying the festivities. Of course, this morning, I'm supposed to be walking to the start line and running the most famous marathon in the world, and that's the Boston Marathon, so I'm a little bit disappointed uh, this morning as well. I've got my Boston Marathon jacket on this morning, uh, but we've got some exciting news, some uh, announcements to make here on the Monday message. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, Bray Ward won the video challenge last week, uh, this week, and she got a brand new hoodie uh, that was delivered to her. And then this week is the artwork challenge. That's seventh through 12th grade. You can create an artwork, sketch, or drawing that symbolizes your Panther pride. Submit it via Schoology by next Saturday, and we will try to put all those uh, artwork pieces on the Monday message next Monday and then announce the grand prize winner next Monday. So again, you got all week to work on that. So let's get some nice artworks submitted. Happy birthday this week to Jacob Johnson, Molly Coleman, Hannah Gerald, Jamie Lane, Ethan Stewart, Emily Tackett, Ella Lockhart, Dylan Thompson, Christian Thompson, John Franklin Bishop, Emma Hopkins, and Riley Perez. Happy birthday to all those this week. This is a huge congratulations. We've got six kids that applied for Governor Scholars, and all six of them made it in. That's Sarah Belcher, Alex Flanagan, Emily Gearhart, Grant Holland, Jason Lynn, and Colin Street. That's what's special about Pikeville High School. We had six kids that wanted to do Governor Scholar, and we got them all in. So congratulations to those six. We're extremely proud of you, and we're proud of, uh, of, of our Panthers and getting all six kids into the Governor Scholars program. Also, a huge congratulations for the Governor's School for the Arts for Rachel Wright. She was able to get in this as a highly selective school uh, that she was going to get to go to this summer, and uh, she was able to get accepted in that. Our ACT 30 Plus Club, we've got 17 members, as we currently know, of that made the 17 uh, member ACT 30 Plus Club David Massier, Colin Street, Abigail Adams, Kristen Howard, Alex Flanagan, Emily Gearhart, Noah Thacker, Adam Swafford, Madison Stewart, Harrison Boer, Caden Cottle, Seth Pugh, Hunter Jones, Michael Pimenta, Sarah Belcher, Ross Thamron, and Jason Lynn. Those are our 17 members that make up our ACT 30 plus club for 2020. So congratulations to all of them on their great score on the ACT. Seniors, this Friday, we need you to turn in your picture for the May 1st National Decision Day video that we're making. We're going to put that together for our seniors and shoot that out via um, the Internet on May 1st. Of course, that's National Decision Day. So please, this Friday, by this Friday, get your picture into Kristen Howard. Uh, you can email that to her or you can email it to Miss Huffman. And that's again by this Friday. The Pikeville Police Department and the Panther Partner Mentor Program, which Miss Kelly Scott uh, heads up, is accepting applications until Friday, May 1st. That's two weeks from now. It allows for juniors and seniors to serve as mentors to the seventh graders during their DARE class during, in their health classes. Applications can be found on Schoology. I sent those to you on Friday uh, in your classes. If you have any questions, please reach out to Mrs. Kelly Scott. And again, kids, on, your, on Schoology, you're used to going to courses right here. We've created groups and we've got six groups. That's the seventh grade group, the eighth grade group, all the way up through the senior group of classes like class of 2020 would be the seniors. And you can find those right here. So check any announcements under Schoology. If you click on groups, uh, you may have some more announcements there. Online instruction update. Again, we're still through Friday, May 1st. I know the governor, the uh, commissioner of education, and all the superintendents are supposed to be meeting today and or tomorrow to discuss the future of what we're doing with schools in Kentucky after May 1st. And they're going to, we'll announce that uh, as soon as we get the news um, via uh, our Schoology. So check your Schoology in a day or two and we'll, we should know more about uh, past May 1st. 
The artwork challenge, don't forget, kids, create an artwork sketch or drawing that symbolizes your Panther pride and submit that via Schoology by Saturday, and we'll announce the winner next Monday. And then this week, kids, this is your Monday morning reminder that you are amazing and you can handle anything. You all have been unbelievable through this uh, online instruction period and uh, just continue to keep hammering at those new assignments, continue to learn at a high level. And I know it's not the best thing. We believe at Pikeville High School that the best instruction is actually in a classroom, not online. And uh, But we've got to make the best of uh, the hand we're dealt, like I've said before, and uh, we got to continue to try to learn at a high level. Again, I hope you all have a great week, and uh, we'll see you back next Monday.